course not. I'm not even bonded yet. I've never kissed anyone, not like that. Such as? But the Keeper said, no, I just can't. What if I encountered a werewolf? I couldn't defeat one of those on my own. The Keeper would know right away if I left camp. Masiranis for the offer, however. That's very kind of you. Oh, what do you want now? I told you everything already. You think I haven't thought about this? There's nothing I can do. Oh, what do you want now? I told you everything already. I don't think there's anything I can tell you. My clanmates in the camp would be better at that. We few wanderers greet you, Shemlin. We understand you are venturing into the haunted forest to save our brethren. I suspect your efforts may be in vain. An entire group of our hunters went into the forest to do as you intend, and they have not returned. An outsider to the rescue, but of course. What were we doing trying to solve our own problems? Nothing will help us now. Least of all, the meddling of an outsider. You are being most unkind, Cyril. Would you refuse our hunter's help simply because of the hand that offered it? <sighs> you shame me, Lethalan. I have allowed my bitterness to cloud my better judgment. Forgive me, Grey Warden. It is most difficult to forget the lessons the Shemlin have taught us. Perhaps I can yet make amends. Stay while I spin a tale for our children. And then I will tell you of the forest if you desire. Come and join us then, all of you. Now, what say we tell the story of the fall of the Dales? Which of you children knows that best? I... I think I do. Yes? Then come, child. Oh, don't be frightened of the outsiders. Now, where do you suppose such a tale should begin? When we were slaves? Yes. Long ago, our people were slaves to an empire the Shemlin had built on the darkest magic. They took away our history and our language and left us nothing. And then that empire fell. We were freed. Because Andraste came with her army, and Chartan joined her. Yes. Andraste, the Shemlin prophet, came out of the south and challenged the Tevinter Imperium. Our ancestor, Chartan, fought at her side. And when the rebellion came to an end, we were given a new homeland in the west, the Dales. We began to rebuild the culture and history we had lost in our years of slavery. We worshipped the creators, and made the Dales our home. Perhaps you know what happened next, stranger. Do you know what happened to the Dales? Could not say, or will not. What do you say, child? Can you tell us what happened to the Dales? The Shemlin wouldn't let us be. Indeed. They resented that we would not worship their maker. And they resented our ways because they were so different from their own. The Shemlin nations grew cold towards the Dales. They called us blasphemers and tyrants and declared war upon us. A great crusade. And which is worse, the actions of those who believed they were right, or the inaction of those who knew they were wrong? Oh, I am certain we played a part in our downfall. We believed that the Shemlin would not revoke their prophet's gift so lightly. We were wrong. 
They took our lands, forcing us to abandon our gods and live as beggars in Shemlin cities. But there were those of us who refused to abandon our ways. They emblazoned the symbols of the creators upon their flesh and vowed to keep their ancient lore alive. That's us. That's the Dalish. Indeed, child. We chose to wander, homeless, rather than be ruled by the Shemlin. And all our clans wander alone until the day we have a homeland once more. Then we bring the old ways back to our people, because they have forgotten it all. For we are the Dalish, the keepers of the lost law. The walkers of the lonely path. We are the Elvenan, and never again shall we submit. And that is the tale of the Dales, stranger. Thank you for allowing us to tell it to you. Perhaps one day, you will tell us a tale of your people. A day when you are not guest and stranger, but savior. Now, as I said I would, I can tell you what I know of the Brazilian forest. Do you wish to hear it? Our legends say that before the Shemlin came, the Brazilian forest was a place of our ancestors that predated even our oldest homeland. The people of the Imperium came here and gave the forest its name. If they found traces of our ancestors, we cannot say. If they did, those elves were slain or enslaved. We know only that a great many battles were fought here. These trees grow upon the graves of those who fell, Shemlin and elves both. So much death in one place tore the veil into the beyond. The Shemlin know the beyond as the Fade, the place of dreams and spirits. When the veil is torn, spirits pass into our world freely. The legends say that one great spirit possessed the wolf that became Witherfang, who passed its curse of rage onto men and created werewolves. No one knows. When the Shemlin lived in these parts, the curse would spread anew to a few of them with each passing year. They would run off into the forest, never to be seen again. Eventually, all the Shemlin left. One assumes the werewolves survive by passing their curse to their offspring. They have had no new blood. Until now. So Zathrian insists. He says that Witherfang does not age as the werewolves do. Witherfang is as much spirit as it is beast, and thus it is immortal. Perhaps it cannot even be slain. At the very least, it is old and powerful, much as Zathrian himself. The forest is said to be haunted. Spirits possess the trees, the wolves, even the bodies of the dead. They yearn for true life, you see. Who can say what value the Imperium placed on this land? And how many elves died here, in slavery? Even the barbarians who came to overthrow the Imperium fought and died on this soil. One last warning. The forest is like a thing alive. It changes as it wills, closing paths behind you and opening up new ones. Too many have become lost within, unable to find their way out. Were I you, I would endeavor not to make the forest my enemy. <laughs> 